It's time for a showdown. I've upgraded my world to 1.19 and now I've access to new biomes, brand new mobs and the ancient cities. These are home to the most powerful mob in Minecraft, the Warden. And I'm going to take him on in battle, not cheesing him with a bow and arrow, but with hand-to-hand -hand combat to see who truly is the strongest in this world. I can't wait to try all the new features in this update. In fact, I'm so excited. And I'm going to start the video by, by going to bed. There are also a few 4,000 days posters left on sp737.store. And I do want to find the Warden and battle it. But that is going to take some careful planning and preparation. So before I go through that, I'm going to get one of the other new features first. That requires me grabbing a bunch of sugarcane, making a cartography table. Now I shall trade with a villager, get a map, and fly towards a woodland mansion. And as I'm flying along, I've, I've just realized something. I've got no time. Totem. Let's get one out of that shulker box and get back to flying. There is the mansion and here is the entrance. So the goal is to find a room that has the LA. I believe it's rooms like this which can have one. All I know is they're kept in some sort of prison. This looks more like it. Although still no joy. Maybe these LA's are going to be a bit rarer than I first thought. So no joy in mansion number one. So that means buying another map and going out in search again. Let's hope this one actually has the LA. Well, there is a jail cell, once again empty. But look at that! Hey, we got a notch up, lad. <laughs> I did not expect that. Okay, you know, I'm, it's looking like we're not going to get what I want here. But coming here wasn't a complete waste. This might be better. I found an outpost. But sadly, no cages with LAs. Let's try mansion number three. It needs to be the room with three jail cells in it. But there was not one in there. And this mansion is completely on fire. Turns out that's one I've already been to and I, <laughs> once upon a time I burnt it up. I've now completely run out of firework rockets, but the mansion is pretty close now. There it is. Come on mansion, don't let me down. I think we've got it. This is where they are trapped. I definitely heard one. We've got an LA. We finally, finally got one. And not just one, there's four in there. Oh, this is brilliant. Five, six, so far six. And there's loads more over here. It was worth all the effort. I've got 30 leads, which it should probably be enough. Now, before I free those away and imprison them at my house instead, I want to completely clear out this place. Just make sure it's, you know, there's, there's nothing that can get in the way. I always find it cool going for the chest that's in the walls as well. You go all the way, all the way around all these and there's... One right at the end, although it's unlikely that I'll find two notch apples searching woodland mansions today. Now, the best way to get these get Oh my god. <laughs> what on earth? Why is that Vex suddenly come out? Are you guys okay? I, I don't know if Vex is attacking you. No, you're not coming out. But as I was saying, the best way to get these guys home is going to be through the nether. Although going through the actual nether would, <laughs> would really be fraught with danger. So instead, I will break this portal, grab some ender pearls, ladders, and build up towards the nether roof. I think I can put a ladder there. And then can I... Will the pearl go up there? It did. It worked. Next to build a portal, link them up, and now I want to build a large room that goes around this portal. Otherwise, the LA's are just, just going to fly miles and miles away. That'll stop them flying away. Let's put these on a lead and then lure them into the portal. And now I'll grab the rest of them. Now, this is a lot of LA's. Let's break this portal so they can't go back through. I, I think we've got every single one here, but I'll make another portal and just double check. Yeah, look at this. One just snuck back through. No, actually made that too. Now, I feel like this is going to be a little bit of a crazy experience to get all these on, but I'm I'm gonna do my best. I think that is every single one. This is so crazy. It's just like having a load of balloons or something. And these guys are gonna be dragged 2,000 blocks in this direction. And here we are, home sweet home. Although I'm not sure how I'm actually gonna get these guys down from here. Filling in this hole and then making a portal up here might be the best idea. Hopefully this sends them all into my house, but uh, we're about to find out. And the answer is, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Talk about disastrous things that can happen. Can't believe they all came up here. I also have no firework rockets to catch them. Look at them all <laughs> dispersed everywhere. I'll quickly get these crafted and gather up as many LAs as I can onto this fence gate. And that's three of them. Now five and ten. And wow, these two have traveled quite a long way away. I found the 14th. I'm not sure if I brought any more. I know I had 14 or 15, but... but that should be enough. Now to grab a load of glass, add yet another notch apple to the walls and make a building around these guys. And the LA dome is now complete. Although I do feel I could make a few improvements to it now, such as magenta underneath the glass. Well, it just nicked me concrete. I didn't know that is not for you. Give that back. Who do you think you are? Here, have a, have a magenta one. There you go. Happy days. Go on, pick it up. Let's see him collect it all. This is, this is how it works, isn't it? He picks it all up. Bring it to me, slave. Oh, he does as well. Oh, it's brilliant. You've got a friend in me. We did an advancement. Let's go. Well, give me that back now. Okay, you're, you're not keeping it. You know, I wasn't sure about this mob when we voted for it at Minecon, but I have to say the LA is a very, very cool mob. Now I can go back to the nether. Apparently there's an LA in here. Okay, 
What on earth are you? Let's get you back through. You're not supposed to be here. I'm also not sure how I get you through. I've got to get you into a tiny one by one curse portal thing. Now fly down. That's it. There we go. He went through. And instead of putting you in the LA dome, you can go on this bit of fence with the... <laughs> with all the other things. And now I can actually head to the nether to get rid of this mess all the way up here. And whilst I remove that, I'm going to ask you guys to please leave a like. Let's see if we can get to 300,000 likes. Now, you're probably waiting for me to go and battle the warden and, and see if he takes me out and, you know, what happens with that encounter. But before I go down that road, because, you know, I would like to prolong my life, I'm going to try and find another of the brand new mobs. And these can be found in swamps or mangrove swamps. And if you ask me, finding a mangrove would be pretty cool. Although it might take a while to find one, so I'm, uh, I'm just going to get searching. I think I'll find a mushroom island before finding what I'm looking for. No sign of a swamp, but I have found a couple more LA's. Oh, I feel bad. Come on, guys. You, you can be free. All right, you know what? No, I changed my mind. Yeah, yeah, go on. Be free. I don't know what you guys are going to do, but... I'm not taking any more of them home. 15 of them was more than enough. And I think this is what I've been looking for. Wow, a mangrove swamp. And it has got the best thing added in the update. The thing that I wanted more than anything. No, it's not these things. Are they, are they called molecules? No, proper gills. That's it. I, I knew it was one of them. And it's not the mangrove roots or the cool new wood. And it's definitely not the frogs. I feel bad saying that because the frogs are, <laughs> are very, very cool. I wonder if I can somehow take these all home with me. But no, the best thing added in the mangrove swamps is mud. Yes, mud is in the game. You've got to love it. Look at it. Oh, it's so satisfying. It's so cool to walk on the sounds it makes. Look at it. You can turn it into really cool blocks as well if you cook it. And what have we got here? Like more... What on earth is this? Rooted mud? My mistake. Muddy mangrove roots. Another cool thing. So yeah, we're, 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 we've come for mud. All right. Frogs, eh, they're all right, I suppose. But the mud is where it's at. I think to get the frogs home, I'm going to use the same method that I used to get the LA's back. So I should get these portals all set up. Let's go above, remake the portal, and drag the frogs in. All right, fellas, we've got a long, long walk ahead of us. But hey, look at them go. They're, uh, they're keeping up. So I'll see all you guys when I've got these boys back to the base. It has been quite the journey, but we are now here. And before I can get these frogs down, I've got to make sure they don't die. So my plan is to grab lots of slime blocks so that I can cover this entire area. And then hopefully these guys won't take any fall damage. Come on, down you go, fellas. There you go. <laughs> We're going for it. All right, is this going to work? Oh, it's going to work. All right. I bet you've never bounced so high in your life. I bet you've never had so much fun before. Now to sneak you guys into that portal. I love the way they just disappear. Now the next question is... <laughs> Where do I put them? I can't really keep adding things to this fence gate. I'll just attach it here for now, but I've, uh, <laughs> I've got plans. How on earth did you get up there? Th these frogs never cease to amaze me. First things first, we, we need more of the mangrove wood. So I'm going to hope... Oh, it oh my goodness! It's like a tree with legs. I've, I've never seen anything like it. I'm going to keep that there just because I love it. I, I, I feel bad chopping that one down. Instead, I'm going to demolish one all the way over here. And from what I can tell, it seems that getting a lot of this wood is, is, is going to be a bit of a challenge. Got quite a lot of wood from all these mangrove trees and I grew this one, which I, I didn't realise you could make a one block tall mangrove tree. What a... What a sorry excuse for one. And as you remove all the leaves, you just end up with these these legs on the road. <laughs> like spider's legs. My goodness, it, it looks uh, very, very strange. But why did I get all the mangrove logs? Well, I want to make a cool enclosure for these guys who have both managed to get up there now. And I'm thinking the home of the frogs could be behind the home of the villagers. Actually, I'm going to build it here opposite the snowman. I've marked out the area for the home. I want these top beams to all be stripped. And I'll also have bottom beams that are exactly the same. Looking good. But let's also add some beams that are also stripped. And now to add a few sea lanterns for lighting with planks around them and trap doors underneath. Now to fill in all these gaps with glass. And I'm going to do the same with the sides as well. And this is the front completed. You know what? Let's, let's cook a bit of mud. Why not? Okay. Oh, well, we've just got... <laughs> it's amazing what you just find randomly in a... Oh my goodness. What's that doing in there? Is there anything else in here that I should know about? 13 more! Why have I just got loads of netherite scrap chilling in things? Apparently, yeah, okay, I'm not doing this right. You actually don't cook mud. You pack it with wheat, and then you can make your mud bricks. And then I can make some mud walls. Eight more ancient debris, and I'll have another netherite block. And I would also like to harvest a load of these leaves. The leaves can go on the outside with mud walls around them. This really is starting to look marvellous. And now to get this place decorated. I'll do that using slabs, roots, leaves, and mud. You know what? I, I think it's really coming together. It looks it looks a little cold in here because of the cover the colour of the grass. But if I go ahead and start adding water, I reckon it really brings the whole place to life. You know what? If I was a frog, I'd, I'd be happy to live here. And perhaps we should put that to the test. Come on, you three. I'm taking you to your new home. Oh, they love it. Look at them swim. I didn't know they could swim like that. They're, 
They're very fast. Come on, don't be shy. You can, you can come in here. You will be locked in here for the rest of your life, though. That's it. Take your time. I've got nowhere to be. That's it. Nice and steady. Flipping out, they make the turtles look fast. I'll also craft a couple of pressure plates, grab more mangrove logs, and then I can apply the finishing touches to the enclosure. Beautiful, but, but now I want more frogs. And what do you have to do to get baby frogs? Well, actually, they're, they're not called baby frogs, are they? They're called tadpoles. Well, it's quite simple. You just feed them slime balls. Yeah, it's a well-known scientific fact. Okay, what on earth is going on with this drip leaf? But well, there we go. Hey, we got the two by two one again. Frogs were the last thing on the menu, but now we wait for them to lay some frog spawn. And here it is. So I, I think I can pick this up. Is that is that right? <laughs> that was wrong. It's actually impossible to pick up frog spawn, so now I've, I've got to wait another five minutes. Although that's not a problem, because I now need to cover this entire roof in string. Otherwise, it will get covered in snow. That is the roof covered. Now to do the same with these leaves. An operation build a frog enclosure is now complete. Now for take two on getting some frog spawn. This time I'll I'll leave it alone. And the frog spawn takes up to 10 minutes to hatch. You know what? I, I'm, I'm going to sit and wait. This is too magical of a moment to miss. And there we go. I, I've caught the magical moment on camera. Yes, I did just sit there for five minutes and wait for them to hatch. But now if I can get a bucket, I can pick up a tadpole. Look at that. That's beautiful. Let's uh, let's pick up a couple of them. I'm pretty sure when these little fellas grow up, they will be blue frogs. Okay, I'm actually in it. There, there isn't any blue frogs in Minecraft. <laughs> Green frogs, they'll be green frogs, okay? But if the tadpoles grow up in this biome, because it's a tiger biome, it's warm, it's not cold, then they will instead be orange frogs, temperate ones. So let's give them a decent sized home to, to play around in. I'm not sure if I've done this very well. <laughs> the water does not work. There we go, that's that sorted. Now we need to box them in. And if I give them slime balls, it will accelerate the process. And lucky for these tadpoles, I have so... So much slime. I, okay, I didn't need to bring this many, but you know what? Just for effect, we've, we've got them. All right, fellas, eat slime to your heart's content. And there we go. We've got one that's grown. I'm sure the other two can't be far behind. There we go. I've now got all three. Accidentally bred some more as well, but you know what? It, it, it can't hurt. Let's get these boys to their new home. Well, I guess they're not all boys. Some of them laid some frog spawn, but you know, well, you, you know what I mean. Let's fill these other tadpoles with slime as well. And there we have it. We've got a green frog. Shame it's not blue. Mo Yang. I had a blue frog. Although, to be fair, they never listened to me. I asked them for penguins and <laughs> we never saw that happen, did we? But anyway, I, I think that's enough messing about with, with the mobs. We've seen the frogs. We've seen the LAs, whose home is rubbish compared to the frogs. I think it's finally time we went to see the warden. And in preparation for that, we're, we're going to need a few things. Eggs to lure it away. Wool so that the skulk sensors cannot detect me. A heck of a lot of totems because I really don't want to die. And you know what? A bit of TNT because I've, I've got an idea with it. I also want to mend all of my items. I have a... Okay, that's the wrong chest. As I was saying, in here, I have a broken elytra as well. want to get that repaired. A few other things here and there. And you know what? If we're going after the warden, there's, there's one thing I should definitely, definitely bring. Some notch apples. I've not been collecting these up for no reason, okay? These, this is all coming down to this moment. We don't want to die in this world. We might as well eat a notch apple if it's going to save a life. That's what you guys really want me to do, wasn't it? <laughs> Use the notch apples if I need them. So I'm taking every single one I've got. All 46 of them. And let's also grab a few extra eggs as well. And now I am ready. As I've done a few times today, I'm going to fly... I don't know what that's there for. But I'm going to fly far, far away to brand new chunks. I built a portal. And it's taking me to a cave that has diamonds. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them here. I've never seen this many diamonds in one vein. 13. And there's even more right here. And now that we're in new chunks, I'm going to show you how to find the deep, dark biome. It's not random. It's not all purely based on luck. There is a strategy for it. Now, first, you want to find one of these very tall biomes. Not a windswept biome. You can see on the F3 menu. But something like the frozen peaks, the jagged peaks, or the stony peaks. I had to look up what the other one was. But there's three peak variants. This one's particularly cool because it has an outpost on it. Because the deep, dark biome spawns underneath areas with low erosion. So mountains have the least erosion because they're the tallest structures. So there's a very high chance that the deep... Look at that! Look, my strategy worked! The deep dark is here! I know what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Don't really know what I plan to do once I, <laughs> I got here. Yeah, so here's the deep dark. We've made it to all the biomes. Yeah, that's official. We've, we've come to this biome. Sneak 100. I don't know. Is that near a Skulk Shrieker usually? I, I, knew you, I know you can get the Skulk Shriekers around here, so you have got to be... A little bit careful. This is a Skulk Catalyst. Can I pick it up? Is it? Is this going to work? Yes, I picked it up. I guess that's because I got Skulk Touch. What do I throw away? You know what? I got way too many totems at this point. Now, when I found out they'd added Skulk Blocks, you know what my thought was? Blow it up. And you're about to see exactly why I think that. Just look at it. It blows up and it becomes XP. And obviously, it's only one XP or per one, but it's still a lot of XP. You know, faster than I can absorb it all. It's just, it's just a cool, easy way to get XP. Go to a mountain bring some TNT, blow it all up, 
and life's easy. This really is the only video you need to watch to know everything about the 1.19 update. So then the next question is, okay, where are the... Are they diamonds? No, they're not. Where is... Oh, they are diamonds. Okay, cool. But yes, where are the ancient cities? Now, wardens can spawn in just the deep dark. You don't need an ancient city to find a warden. However, the ancient city have way more wardens. There's way more loot there. There's a lot of notch apples. And they spawn pretty commonly throughout the deep dark. We're just we're just a little bit high up at the moment for that. I'm also going to grab Skulk Catalyst whenever I see him because I'll, I'll probably end up wanting to make a farm. And you know what? The Skulk... What's the... Is it a hoe? I think I need a hoe. Silk Touch hoe would have been better. You know what? I'm slowly getting rid of all my totems here, but... <laughs> you know what? Crafting tables. No, we're going to need crafting tables. I'll just put a couple of a couple of totems in there. But yeah. Oh, wait. Does that give you XP? Oh, you need you need Silk Touch. I should have brought a Silk Touch hoe, not a Fortune one. I can still pick them up, but it's it's very, very slow. However, I'll grab them anyway because, I, yeah, I feel like at some point I'll, I'll want them for a farm or something like that. But as I was saying, ancient cities randomly generate throughout the deep dark. We're a little bit high up from... So I'm probably going to... Oh, okay. We're near a Skulk Shrieker. I heard that. I don't think the Warden will spawn this time. It, you need to activate it three times, I think. However, I'm, I'm going to stay crouched. See where it is. Yeah, there it is. I don't think you can pick these up, unfortunately. But if I wanted to, I could I could summon a Warden. You know what? I'm going to break one anyway. I'm just going to see what happens, okay? See, just confirm that it doesn't drop. Oh, you can pick them up. I think... Okay, oh, that's cool. That's really cool. I think, though, when you replace them, they can't summon a warden. I think that's how it works. But that's just what somebody told me. You know, I, I should probably read the wiki. Yep, I've just confirmed that on the wiki. If I place it, it, it will not summon it. So we can, we can test that out, I think, because... Yeah, there we go. See? Nothing's happening. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm activating it. it. It just makes a cool noise, but... It won't actually do the effect and, and summon a ward. Imagine if one just climbs out the ground now and be like, whoa! But no, because I've placed this one, it's of no danger to me. Okay, okay. Those, though, I have not placed, and I have, you know, probably upset a lot of Shriekers so far, so I think if I if I activate one more, I'll probably end up with a warden. In the deep dark, you want to build with wool because it, it doesn't generate, doesn't activate these things, so that did activate it. As you can see, if I, if I mine it, it, like, it gets activated. Whereas if I place that, you can see it's not lighting up. It's Okay, well... Something happened, but placing it doesn't doesn't do anything. And there's a dungeon. Okay, you guys are going to get me in trouble here if there's any shriekers nearby, but I think we're okay. Anything good in the chest? Oh, no, not chapel, so not worth me staying. I found that there is a lot more dungeons in the deep dark from like my testing, though. So the deep dark seems to end in this direction. It might be best for me to try and dig down instead. Although I'm, I'm pretty low here. I reckon I'm, I'm just going to try and strip mine and see what happens. Okay. Oh. Alrighty. We're right by a Skulk Shriek. I swear, if I get one coming out of here, one. I, I'm due a warden, but I don't think I'm going to spawn one. But this is just me mining. Oh, man, this is... This is <laughs> I'm terrified. Please don't climb out of the ground, warden. We're good. Okay, so we're underneath an ancient city or one or something. So I've got to try and get to it without activating the stuff, which is... A, a, what a nightmare. Basically, every time you activate a Shrieker, it increases the warden level by one. And if you increase it to three and then activate a Shrieker, the Warden spawns. Pretty sure mine is now at level three. It goes down by one every ten minutes. So I could wait half an hour and it go back to zero and I could activate things again. But ah, well, I ain't going to do that, am I? Come to a cave. Is that... Is, is, is this near what, what I want? I don't think I need to crouch right now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. One wrong move and the Warden spawns. Not the end of the world. I don't know if I want Elytra to fly away or a chest plate for, like, protection. And I think... Oh, okay, that activated them. But I, I think a chest plate's probably gonna be smarter. I'll get my sword ready. You know, you know, we need we need to be ready. I'd hate to use no chapel, but I'm going to have to, okay? We're gonna need a few totems. I think this is me being being ready. An amethyst geode here. Now, is that the cave that I dug out to before? It could be, okay? It definitely could be. I'm just gonna, you know, use these to nicely work out here. You know, I'm scared, guys. I don't know why I'm scared. I, I, if I wasn't in hardcore, I wouldn't be bothered, but. It's actually pretty terrifying. Just in a big circle there as well, so I'm, I'm gonna keep digging. Okay, this is it. You know, I've just got to dig while it's activating because I think Warden's coming. Warden's coming, ladies and gentlemen. If he climbs out in this tunnel, I'm screwed. It must be. Is he below me? This is the cave, isn't it? It's got to be the one. He's coming. This is it, guys. Oh no. Oh no. This is such a- this is terrifying! I have- this is 4,000 days! I can't! I can't see him at the moment. He's gotta be in that cave. I don't need to be above me though, so I've gotta- I'm, I'm gonna keep this nice and safe, because he- I don't think he can get in this tunnel, okay? And that's- that's gotta be what I remember, okay? Also gotta remember, the Warden cannot see me, he's blind. He can smell me and that's it, and he smelt me, okay. Let's get a glance at this Warden. 
There it is. Oh, <laughs> this I'm really scared. That's the one. Don't smell me. Got the eggs. How do I get past him? Go on, chicken. Distract him. Don't you dare kill that chicken. That's a baby chicken. Well, two baby chicken. I got two for two on the baby chicken. Oh no, <laughs> what are you doing up here? Hey, buddy. Oh, it's the chicken. Chicken, what are you doing? You're a traitorous chicken. <gasps> he's getting mad. Is he coming through? He's killed the chicken. I know he's killed the chicken. He can't get through this. There's no way. I'm blocking up. I'm blocking up. What the heck? He killed the chicken. I don't know if he was coming through or not, but... Oh my goodness. Yeah, the one, he can't teleport to you. All right. I don't think that was an ancient city. I'm actually so scared. I just need to... Let's pause the game. Let's, let's take a breather. All right. So with this very, very powerful armor, the warden can hit me four times. It hits me a fifth time. I'm going to pop a totem. I hear it getting back into the ground. Okay. The warden's gone now. That's, <laughs> you know, that's the best news we've had. If it doesn't get any vibrations for 60 seconds, it crawls back in the ground, which is, is where it's gone. Now there's the Shrieker. Is this, is this ancient city potential? There's a lot more Shriekers down here and stuff. So I am going to take my time and try not to summon another Warden for now. I will be battling the Warden and I will be defeating it. Or I'll be defeated. Somebody's going to die, me or the Warden in this episode. But right now I just want to explore. I want to get the loot from the ancient city. I want Swift Sneak. Items like that are just going to help me so much in my battle with the Warden. I accidentally had... Uh, activate another shrieker. Oh, bro. This one's bad. This is bad. Okay. This one's scary because I don't know where the heck that warden is. Let's just, let's just block myself in. Okay. It's really scary when it goes dark. That's what, that's what freaks me out the most. For now, we're just avoiding. Okay. We don't need to be crazy. We're just going to avoid him. Seems like the warden has disappeared once again. I want to mine these diamonds, but I, I need to do it safely. So wool is going to be the way that I do that to block any vibrations at least I hope that it's going to block any vibrations. Time will tell. I think it did. I think it's okay. Now, is there much in this direction? I will find those ancient cities. Some big caves around here which look kind of promising. This, without a doubt, is prime ancient city location. We're at the right level. Massive caves. I wish there wasn't so many shriekers everywhere because I've got to go so slow. Diamonds in the roof, but at this point, you kind of just feel like it's not worth it. I've got much, much bigger fish to fry. Seems to have just done a big circle in exploring this deep dark. Or maybe not. Wait. Yeah, I am. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let's go back up this way. So I'm thinking find another deep dark biome and hopefully that one has an ancient city. There you go. Deep dark 2.0. Like I told you guys, it's very, very easy to find. Ancient cities, on the other hand, are not quite so easy to find. I think we found it, guys. Yes, I, I, it is. I found an ancient city. Now this is where things get serious. Just play it on. Not chapels to hand. Wool at the ready. See, my first chest up there, I, I don't see any shriekers around. If I, things, if I set off one shrieker, the warden will spawn. So it's so key to be careful. Look at that, though. Look at that. Look at the stuff. A mending book? I mean, that's pretty cool. I'll take the sculpt blocks as well. In fact, I think it'll be wise to put a few items into here so that I'll have space to store the items that I find. Found another chest. And, and the way to loot chests is, is very... It's very simple. You just kind of have to block yourself in a little bit. I, I, I don't know if that stone's going to be all right, but... Yeah, just block yourself in. You should... Absorb all the vibrations, then you can open it without any trouble. So far, I've not found the good stuff, like the notch apples, the swift sneak. Where on earth is all of it? Something activated there, but we're okay. And this, this kind of looks a bit better. But when you've got armor like mine, a bit of diamond armor in a chest isn't, isn't really important. And look at that. The center of the ancient city. It has all of the reinforced deep slate around it that nobody knows what it does, but everybody thinks it's going to be a portal. It would be pretty cool if that turned out to be the case. So I believe if you activate these sculpt blocks, like, and you light these up, as you can see, you've got to light them all up together, and then it opens something, or, or something like that. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm running around like an idiot activating him. Okay, are we all right? Oh, we're not all right. Of course we're not all right. But what, what do I do in this? Is I run, you run like your life depends on SP because your life does depend on it. Okay, well, what have you done with your totem, you crazy person? Okay, a lot of my items are here as well. Okay, there we go. The warden's somewhere over there. Where's that secret room that I was looking for? It's somewhere underneath that middle bit. I would say that the warden doesn't scare me, but quite <laughs> quite clearly it does. I'm gonna carry on playing things carefully. I think, yeah, he's got back in the ground now. We're all right. Don't know if I can open this chest without activating something. We'll just see what happens. We're okay. The chests are just let down after let down. I'm not sure if this is going to work. I, I feel like... A, a pulse might be able to go through wool, so I might be in trouble, but I'm going to try anyway, see what happens. Yeah, yeah, we're, 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 we've got it. I've got swift sneak. That's something. Okay. Yeah, Warden's coming now. Warden is super close, so I've got to be really careful now. All right, but I'm okay. He's not, he's not on me, Bridge. He doesn't know where I am. I've got me eggs. No need to panic. 
There he is down there. He's absolutely no idea what's going on. Let's send an egg over that way. All right, that's it. That's it, bold fella. You don't know where I am. Meanwhile, I keep bridging away. The darkness effect has gone, which means he's he's lost me trail. Ah, oh, there he is over there. No problem at all. Okay, if I just just wait, he'll he'll go in the ground again. Are you kidding me? You don't see. Him. Come on. There's no way. Oh, come on. Right, that's it. I've had just about enough of this. You think you could do this? I'll tell you what happens. I fly away, all right? I'm not having you sniffing me out. Oh, okay, careful. I don't know what the warden thinks, but I am definitely far too powerful for him to outsmart me. There he goes, back into the ground. See you later, we don't miss you. Now I can get back to looting some chests. Well, this one's got the echo shards and the disc fragment. We can make a disc, oh, that's perfect. And more Swiss sneak, good stuff. We found a nut chapel. Happy days. Okay, we've got it. We might have one of these guys spawning again, which is a bit of a, a bit of a pain again. Oh, come on, come on, bro. Really gotta do this again. Sorry, at this point, you know, I, I don't care. I'll just... Whoa, whoa, don't, don't, don't be too stupid about it though, SP. But yeah, I can get away from him anytime, any day, anywhere. Oh, another one's gone. You know, do I even care at this point? Like, surely I'm just like, uh, you know what? Screw you, Warden, I don't care. Sneaking around at one mile an hour might be what some people want to do, but me? I just, I just go in all guns blazing. That's it, spawn him in, see if I can. I can just loot these chests faster than you can summon some in. I think. Look at that. No. It, uh, the worst thing is that I'm just flying into walls all the time. I'm more likely to die to the walls than I am to the warden. That's pretty true though. I mean, I'm, I'm having no problem. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Another notch chapel. You know what? I, suddenly when I've just started flying around like a maniac. Yeah, it's risky. It's a little bit less suspense, but it's working. Why are you detecting me all the time? Will you just leave me alone? That's it. Go on. Climb on out, warden. See if I'm afraid of you. That's it. Oh, tough guy, huh? Not so strong now. There must be a lot of wardens here now. I have got to be a little bit careful. There may be quite a lot of ones. Do I leave? I, I'm starting to think maybe. I just, I should, you know, just maybe a, a little bit more careful. I'm going to aim for this up here. There we go. We can, we can just land on it. We're safe up here. There's one over there. I'm going to end up with about five or six wardens looking for me down here. This is, this is a probably, yeah, not the smartest thing. There's another one. Oh, come on, bro. I'm just trying to chill up here. Okay, I'm trying to get into the redstone room below, but... <laughs> Keeps summoning in wardens like a crazy guy, don't I? This guy's this guy's on a mission. It's, it's the one. Okay, so there's one up there, one down there, one over there. Oh my goodness, this is the worst thing ever. <laughs> oh well, we'll just we'll just fly over in this direction. When I've not got the deep dark effect, it's pretty straightforward. It's when I have got it that it's it's terrifying. Now, what is this room of wool? What on earth? Another chest. Ah, oh, look at that. Some nice skulk sensors. I'll take those all day. I think my mate the warden has has, has gone from up here. So anyway, apparently, if you stand back here. You can activate, yeah, yeah, do you hear that? Pistons activated, and then they, they shut over it, okay. So I think you run across here, activate some pistons down here that you can go in. There we go, and this is the secret redstone rooms underneath. Didn't know there'd be you guys though, where, they, where we could, yeah, <laughs> get detected. It's basically just simple redstone contraptions that teach you how redstone works. Although I feel like this is not the place that you want to be trying the redstone. Seriously. If, if he climbs out of the floor in here, he's above me, I'm okay. But if he's down here, I don't think he is. Either. Are we good? I'm pretty safe. I think he can smell me, but, you know, that doesn't really scare me. And I'd love to take some of the redstone components down here back home with me. I think they'd be kind of kind of useful. But I also don't want to spawn another warden. It's probably not going to be a, uh, a good idea, is it? Okay, where is that warden? <laughs> Just fly away. All right. Now, are there any chests that I haven't looted? Uh, this is the place I spawned several million wardens, or I've, I've not looted these. Oh, I've not looted these. Okay, echo shards. Nicely done. Oh, switch sneak three. That's all I wanted. What about this chest? Oh, two notch apples. Let's go. Okay, that's good. I don't care. Go on, go on, Warden. You spawn. I don't care. I will care when I have to battle them. Then it's going to be pretty scary. I'll be honest with you, I, I think I've got everything that I wanted from this place. I, yeah, I do want to come back and, and defeat the Warden at some point. But I, I, yeah, I, now is not the time. I need stuff like Swift Sneak. I need to upgrade. I need to come up with a proper plan. But I would say that this has been a pretty successful visit to the ancient city. I've got a bit of confidence up now that I, I don't mind spawning with it, uh, spawning wardens in. I'm pretty confident in how to handle them. And I'd love to battle one. I would love to, but I just know I'm, I've got to, I'm going to take me time. Before the episode's up, I will be taking one on. But right now is absolutely not the time to be doing that. Then it's the time to mine diamonds. So yeah, I'm out of the deep dark. It's time to go home and regroup. And I'm also tens of thousands of blocks away, so I'm probably better just making a portal. Ah, the nether. I never thought I'd say I'm glad to be here. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is like one of the least dangerous places ever compared to where I've just been. So to defeat the warden, I don't want to cheese it, okay? I don't want to like trap it and just defeat it with my bow because that, that would be something that is pretty possible and probably not too hard. Swords only is going to be the rule. Yeah, I can shoot a few arrows at it here and there, but you know, the most of it has got to be done with my... What on earth? With my sword or with my axe. I'll be beating this guy properly with hand-to-hand -hand battle and close quarters combat. Home sweet home. I'm not going to put the notch apples back into the collection because I, I will be taking them with me when I go to battle the warden. So we're going we're gonna to just leave those there for now. And you know what I fancy after doing all of that? I fancy going to bed. It's been a stressful day. I'll give me plushie a twirl. Let's just have some relaxation. And now we can go through the spoils of my, uh, my trip. So... Swift Sneak, it goes on your leggings, thank goodness, because I wouldn't be able to put anything more on those boots. It's got about 60,000 things on it. Let's go and have a look and see if I can get it on here. Oh, look at that. The ultimate leggings just got even better. Oh, look at the speed that I now crouch. I think it's going to take some getting used to it. I've got... Wow, look at that. It's beautiful. I have disc fragments. Now, I think I don't have enough of these. I think I need nine to make... The music disc. So that's at least one reason to go back to the ancient city. And I reckon to relax me a little bit, I should get every new advancement in 1.19. I've actually almost got them all, but one of them is to have every single frog on a lead, which I almost got all of them, but not the green one. So now we have, uh, we've done that. Another one is to use a mob to activate a skulk catalyst. You know what, this, this pig looks like a good candidate for that. You know what would be a really good candidate? Using the warden for it, that would really, that would really get it back, wouldn't it? But anyway, now we're just going to use you. All right, pig, don't take this personally. There we go, it spreads, that's right, and then you get, you get the X, well, you don't get the XP like that. And the final advancement, actually, there's apparently two. This one must be a secret one, which is to have an LA deliver a cake to a note block. So I'm going to need a few cakes for this. Thank you very much, good sir. Things could get a little crazy in here because LA's absolutely love the sound of note blocks. If I place one right in the middle and do this... Okay, apparently, apparently it's not making a noise. How about we, we try this? Come on, guys. You love this. <laughs> it's like sending a fix to him. I think I need to give it a kick. Maybe it's because it's on a lead. Anyone? Okay, it did it. It did it. I just threw the cake on the ground and it... It came over. Okay, give me back that cake now. No, you know what? You guys, you can have the cakes. I, I, I don't really need them. That was indeed a secret one right here that, that didn't show up on the thing. But yeah, the final advancement that we need involves frog lights. And I have two options. Either take one of each frog to the nether or bring a magma cube back to my house. And I reckon bringing back a magma cube is going to be the easiest option. Eventually, I will build a frog light farm, so I will have frogs in the nether and everything. But for now... I'm just going to get this magma cube because I've got a magma cube farm right here. All right, guys, I wouldn't normally do this, but uh, follow me. That's it. You're out. I only need you, really, I think. I, I think that should probably be okay. Let's... Do I patch it up yet? I'll, I'll do I come and do it? Oh, no, I've got the thorns on. Right, we have to go armorless. Oh, my goodness. I forgot how slow you really are. I'll see you guys back at the base. I realize it'll be a bit quicker if I take a big one with me. Or maybe not. It's, uh, <laughs> it's hard to say. I finally made it. <laughs> I'm going to send the magma cube... Wait, is that the right hole? Yeah, it is. It go down there. It won't take fall damage, so don't need to worry about that. I I'm hoping. Why oh, you jumped over it? You can't jump over it forever, though. That's right. All right, he's all right down there. The only thing is now to get it into the little one by one portal. I'm gonna have to break you up into small pieces. Afraid? I'm afraid. I've got four baby ones. Come on then, <laughs> across into this portal. And that is all of the men. I don't know where that guy... He disappeared though, so I'm guessing he's gone through. All right, Magma boys. I'm now losing the will to live. So let's put two of you into a boat. Go on, that's it. Don't be shy. And the other two of you can go into that boat. And now it's time to bring in the frogs. Yeah, doing it this way is <laughs> so, so much faster. It's going to be so cool to see these guys eat magma cubes. I can't wait. Although they just ate them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got one. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. We got we to do this right. <laughs> we've got you beaten one. All right, go and, go and fill your boots, mate. Go and get him. Oh, this is brilliant. So that's one frog light. Oh, he's eating another one. That's another frog light. You are the last one. Go and get him. Go on, don't go in the boat, though. No, you idiot. Okay. I know you... Oh, no. Let's put you up here out of the way, okay? Don't go anywhere. Then I break this. Okay, you can have one magma cube each. Do not eat two, one of you, okay? One each. Let's just... That's it. Did we do it? We did it. There we go. You, you got one each. There we go. You behaved... And that's what you got. Thank goodness you didn't wander off. And I really cannot wait to make a frog light farm. These guys are actually so cool. I love them. I love dragging frogs around because they're just so quick. And that's perfect. They're all back home in their enclosure. And when these tadpoles grow up, we'll get more green frogs. Since we've only got one at the moment. I feel like frog lights would be better than the sea lanterns. But I've committed now to putting them there. So I'm going to keep them. Well, they do look very, very cool indeed. So that's one of them. So these are just basically light sources. 
but I like them. They are, they are nicer frog lights. I look forward to building a farm with them all. And now I want to check something, which firstly involves turning off the mob switch, because some of you guys have said that 1.19 will make it so my EOL farm no longer works. And I kind of need it for all of my gunpowder requirements. So I'm now going to attempt to find out if that is true or not. And the answer is... Oh man, but... They don't go through the portals. What? Should have used the farm a bit more in 1.18 to gather up resources. I tell you, some of them are despawning or some of them are going through. Put a bit of netherrack here, sort of stop any items that come down. We will find out if anything <laughs> is coming through the farm. It's always a little bit heartbreaking though when you spend weeks making a farm and, and Mojang updates and ruins it. Alright, I've waited long enough. No items are coming through, but I, I, I wouldn't, like mobs are spawning in. I, I wonder if there's something wrong with the linking. Well guys, I, I've got some good news. A little bit of research, a little bit of testing, and EOL farms are not broken this update, but for some reason my portal linking had broken. And I have different performance mods installed so that my game runs smoother. I have sodium, which is really good. I have lithium, which is another one which is, is usually really good, but that is what had broken the portal linking. I, I, I'd gone through research, tested all the mods, and look at that, disable lithium and the farm is working again as normal, which I... What was that all about? Which I am very, very pleased about. I've just realised that I did put a block in the way of the farm, so the items are going to be getting stuck. I'd better go and sort that out. Lithium has only just been released for 1.19 and the new update for it does fix the portal linking problem. They are aware of it. Turns out I'd already removed that block anyway. I didn't, didn't need to bother. But in a future update, this farm will not work. So I'm going to use it as much as I can now. Get loads of items, get loads of gunpowder. I'm glad though that I've... Uh, I've worked that out, and, and we're still okay. And I reckon that should probably be enough time at this farm. I'm hoping my shulker storage has managed to keep up with all of the drops. Okay, well, well, first things first, it seems like the um, endermen have, have changed slightly because now they, they can teleport away, I don't know why. Thanks, I can just fly a few hundred blocks away and they will all despawn. And by the looks of things, the system has been coping well. We've got loads, in fact, we might as well take it with us. All this will be great for my netherite beacon project. Always nice to have the gunpowder reserves looking healthy again. And as we've already established, a very cool thing added in the update is mud. Packed mud, the stuff like walls, it just, it looks good. It goes well with blackstone and stuff like that. So I, I definitely want to focus on a way to be able to get more mud. And I could also do a little bit of design modification here to my, my broken farming tower thing. Part is a little bit broken for some reason, but I can put hoppers underneath all of these blocks. I can't really do it up here because we haven't got the space, but I reckon as a quick and easy project, we grab loads of hoppers. We're gonna need more than that. We're gonna need more than that in wood as well. Thankfully I have 70 million spruce logs here so we can craft all of the chests we could ever desire. And from there, craft all of the hoppers that I could ever desire. And next we go underneath. There is already a bit of redstone underneath here, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And I've completely dug out underneath here. And of course in true villager fashion, one has decided, what are you doing down here? Now you're just making life hard work, aren't you? Come on, get get out of here. That's it. You go up there. Oh, sorry. That was an accident. No, no, no. no. Oh, for goodness sake. You guys really do drive me crazy sometimes. So the plan is to have hoppers in a bit of a system like this. We just basically got to cover every single block with a hopper. And I'm starting to realise that maybe I... Uh, <laughs> I'm not... Okay, well, well, that's good, good, isn't it? Yeah, into a glowstone. But yeah, I'm starting to think that maybe I, I don't have quite enough hoppers. And that is every single block covered. So now I want to change it from carrots to be wheat seeds. We have got some wheat seeds there. That, hopefully, uh, maybe that... No, you know, it's not enough. Especially when you consider I have so many in this chest. And now to till this bit of ground that needs it. And harvest every single carrot. And as you can see, look at them. All disappearing into the hoppers. It's working. And it doesn't work on these ones, which is good because then the villager will pick them up because he, he'll probably need some extra carrots to plant. Actually, he's not doing carrots though, he's going to be doing wheat. Now, I could wait for all this to grow, but I haven't got time for that. So instead, I'll bone meal it all. There you go, Mr. Farmer. You can farm to your heart's content. Now that the wheat's sorted, it's time to create something that will generate the mud. If you didn't know, mud can be created by right-clicking dirt with a water bottle. Look at that. We've got mud. And I'm going to use that concept to try and design a farm that will, yeah, that will generate it all for me. This farm could end up being a little bit messy, so I'm, I'm going to build it all the way out here. But the plan is four pistons along here, then observers facing this way to detect when blocks get placed. I think I've worked out an even better system. Don't know what it is, but I just, I just love designing farms. Let's put a load of bottles in all of here. And if I stand like this, Oh, look at that. It turns it all to mud. It's so simple, but so effective. I've been using every single one of my brain cells and I've had to modify the machine so, so much because when a dispenser turns it to mud, you can see that the glass bottle stays in and that was that was going to cause a problem. But now I'm going to put one bottle in every single one. I might be able to modify this a little bit and also have a glass bottle in each of these dispensers. And then there has to be water on e in front of each of the dispensers so they can fill the water bottles with water. I haven't automated this just yet, but that's going to go to there. I push that button. It should do all that. We, we should end up... There we go. We get a water bottle back in there. A glass bottle in there. 
So, th th I mean, that's the essence of the farm. It can only go so fast, as I say, because you need to replace your thing. So, you go like that. I mean, I, I will make it more automatic. Okay, and it seems like something's not worked. Instead, I'll try just one water bottle in each. Ooh, okay, that didn't work. As I was saying, just one water bottle in each. No glass bottles at the bottom. See if that goes all the way around correctly. But again, these end ones don't. So it's not the world's fastest thing, but... It does now work, as you can see, a full water bottle. It is a little bit slower, a little bit more complicated, but as you can see, it does indeed work. Because a water bottle comes back through. I go. And, and that that's the essence of it. I, I might be able to speed this bit up a little bit. Now I've hooked it up to an observer, which means... I don't know. This is not going to work properly, though. I'm just going to break that, and then I can break this. And every time I place all the dirt... Okay, that didn't work. Apparently I've forgotten how to do redstone. <laughs> I do all of this, and then I can't even do a simple thing like that. Now, if I place the dirt... Okay, hold on, there's a, a little bit of a problem there. Things have got a, a little messy here. <laughs> but I've successfully got a block detection system. So if I go ahead and go like this... It, it should work. So let's just test it out. We place that. Okay, a little bit of an issue on this N1. And then... Okay, right, well, I, I'll mess about with the timings and get it working. But it's, it's not far off. All this redstone is getting a little bit complicated. I've used a hopper clock and all this to make it work. And, 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 and it does work. But I've got an idea of how I can make the redstone much better and much less messy. Rather than use an observer to detect when I place a block, I will use a skulk sensor. A bit of wool will be helpful for this project so that the sensor doesn't detect absolutely everything. From here, I'm going to dig down a load of blocks. Now, all this redstone won't trigger the skulk sensor. It'll just be moving stuff. So placing this doesn't activate it. So it's a, it's a little bit too low. So I'll just simply move it up by one and it now detects it with no problem. I'll also fill the walls with wool so that it can't detect stuff to the side, only upwards. So now if I place that, it detected it, and I can use redstone to take the signal out with a combination of glass. Now, let's see what happens if I place a load of dirt. I can do with hooking the redstone up to this as well first. Time for take two. I think it works. Is this, is it, is it all, it's working well. I just, I, I just got to sort the bottles out. I'm loading everything up with water bottles. I've made even more adjustments to the design, and now it works pretty much perfectly. I just go here and hold right click, and as you can see... It just works perfectly. Everything is getting converted to mud. You can see in the bottom right there that glass bottles are getting turned into water bottles and they'll be coming back around the system. Very occasionally you will get dirt that doesn't convert to mud, but that is not the end of the world. We've maxed it out at this point. Okay, we seem to have run out of wood. You know what me saying is working perfectly. Well, you know, there's a few uh, few tweaking problems for some reason. Hopefully I've done something to help that problem and uh, we'll see if it, it continues to work better. And I am now 100% done with this machine. I can just hold right click and there is no teething problems. Every single one now will always get converted because I'm, I've done a load of redstone to make so that the torches are off for only a small tick. You can see it's, it's a little bit messy, but it works consistently, which is the main thing. And now I need a simple system that will deal with the mud when it fills up the 13 blocks the pistons can push. Pistons can only actually push 12 blocks, so this is as far as it'll go. The redstone for this should be fairly straightforward, at least compared to all of this. Pistons along here will push the mud upwards, and then this bit of redstone will detect when a block reaches this point and extend it upwards. All right, machine, let's see what you've got. Look at it on the right, guys, it's working. I definitely think the farm is very cool, but it'd be even better if I could use it to make a massive cube of mud to mine, or at the very least make it so it can store more mud. And as you can see, this machine is now very, very ready. I don't know what more I could do. I'm so, so proud of what I've actually built. As you can see, the redstone is fairly straightforward. It's just staircased up and then because this is powering the pistons, it also power the pistons below because of quasi connectivity. It's pretty straightforward stuff. I think I could do so much dirt. I would a machine that dispenses the dirt. To me. You know what? Let's let's go all out. Very simply put, four observers connected to a dropper. I suspect it'll only dispense two to me. Let's see. Yeah, it gave me two. So I've modified it so there's a bit of redstone on top, which means does it dispense four for me? Okay, still two. But in another observer with some redstone, you'll see that as I use the farm, the amount of dirt in my inventory stays at, a, at a, an amount. So it is, is dispensing four per cycle for me. Look at that, that's perfect. As you see, even though it's kind of fluctuating a bit, it never really goes below 60. Yeah, this is working absolutely perfect. Like if I just wait, I go back to 64. The chest up here is what can be filled with dirt. This piston right here can be an on-off switch. That's not going to work, is it? That's better. So that will turn the machine on and off. All of this for a load of mud, but we are, <laughs> we're going to test it out properly now. I'm just going to sit here for a bit. Just stay FK, hold right click, that's all you have to do. And as you can see, the giant mud cube is being formed. I have realized that if I was to completely redesign this farm, I could probably make it faster and better. 
by making it so the mud gets converted somewhere down here rather than having the dispensers here. But I didn't think that through at the start. I'm very proud of how it is though. It, it works well. And then when you want to harvest the mud, I'm using a shovel. I'm, I could use a TNT duper to blast it and do all that. But I'd rather just use a shovel and not, not use TNT duping. I'm just putting a bit of glass around here so I don't accidentally break any of this redstone whilst I'm mining. But just look at that. Loads and loads of mud. For now, I'll have some mud storage along here. Kind of makes me feel like I should build a dirt farm at this point. But well, that can maybe be another day. I think for now, I have... <laughs> I've done enough of building a farm. So I filled this chest with all the dirt that I have. I'm going to hold right click and press F3 and T. So now that the farm works hands free. And let it convert loads and loads of mud. And the first cube cycle has been completed. Could add even more pistons so that this cube could be made even bigger. But I'm not going to overcomplicate things for now. Beautiful. Over eight stacks of mud that can go in this chest. And there's still plenty of dirt to go through the system. But I want to go and check on the villager over here. Has it been working hard and gathering wheat? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Where's he gone? Okay, I see him. He's all the way over here. What are you doing? You call this work? Why are there wheat everywhere? He's harvested nothing. Absolutely not. Right, that's it. You know what? You're fired. Get out. Get out of my sight. Get out of my farm. That's right. And don't come back. And with that, we can make way for a new farmer. That's it, good sir. Welcome to your new job. And this one's actually doing some work. And wheat is coming through. Okay, that's more like it. I tell you, you, you just can't trust villagers nowadays. And with new confidence that the wheat farm is now working, I can get back to creating mud. And I've now used the machine a few times. And I can see in the future myself making it so that the cube is a bit bigger. So I can run it for longer AFK in a row. Although I'm very happy with all of the mud that I've got. As you can see from the chest, I have plenty of it, plenty to go in the shulker boxes. And I do also think that mud is so useful that it deserves its own storage in the auto sorter. Just have to fill this with mud and it'll start filtering through and end up in here. And I'd also like to clear out this chest. As you can see, there's a lot of water bottles. I suppose the water bottles can stay in the chest and the empty glass bottles as well. And now there is one more cool feature that I have not checked out in this update. Goat horns. I have yet to get myself a goat horn. But very conveniently, I have uh, Screamer and the goat of Minecraft, both of which can drop me a horn. And there are actually some unique horns that are only obtainable from Screaming Goat, so it's perfect that we already got one. I'm going to release them off the lead and bring them outside. Now let's try and get a Screaming Goat horn. So I'm just going to stand still and wait for it to ram into me. Okay, and then I've got to move out of the way. You did not take your time ramming me. I thought we were friends. Okay, you've got to be quicker than I realise. Every time I haven't managed to get away from it. I, I, I'm going to need some help. Three times I tried to move out the way the goat and it hit me. So I'm going to try Ender Pearls. It'll be interesting to see if this is successful. All right, Screamer. Run me now if you dare. Did I do it? Did I, did you Did you hit that wall? I feel like I didn't quite do it in time. I'll try again. There we go. That time I moved. He just when he knocked his head down, we did it. We got coal. Okay, so I'm going to assume that we can get a few more. Because you like ramming a lot, by the way, can I just say. There we go. The head's going down. Did we do it? Yes, we did. Perfect. Okay, we got another one. Oh, we got coal both times. Is it going to be the same one every time? We'll keep testing it out. They do tend to ram quite often, don't they? Did, did you did you avoid again? Have I got both of your horns? Oh, wait, it's hornless. It's got no horns on his head anymore. Oh, my goodness. Wait, so you're telling me that I have to get about 60 million screaming goats? <laughs> Because there are four different types of horns. Well, four for a screaming goat, and then four for normal goats. So I don't know if I want to take your horns away, mate. I, I didn't realise they actually they actually lose your horn as well. Will you guys get down from there? I, I, I know you can jump high, but I'm, I'm trying to get you... Come on, we're getting you inside. Goats are a lot more harder work than you realise. Well, let's blow a horn, okay? Let's see what it sounds like. Wait, what? Is that... <laughs> Is it, what is that from? I've literally watched a compilation of movie intros and I've, uh, I've found it. Listen to this horn. Okay, yeah, yeah, we got it. And then listen to this movie intro sounds, ready? It's basically the same. Anyway, enough of that. Let's continue dehorning a load of goats. It's winding up. Oh my god, well, you sent me flying. Okay, there we go. We got him. That's one of your horns down. And this time we have got Sing, which sounds like... That's pretty, pretty good. One more time. Ba -bum. All right, your other one's going to be going as well in a moment, though. I'm, I found that Pearls is pretty much... It's, it, I mean, it's doable without pearls, but it's it's so much harder. It can take anywhere from 30 seconds to 5 minutes for a goat to ram. It looks like it's winding up another one. There we go. Did I get it? I did. I got the other horn. Okay, so I wonder if one goat always gives the same one. Like, both of its horns 
have been synced for the for that one. The other one has both been called, so maybe once you've got one of the goat's horns, there's no point like getting its other horn off of it. Very, very interesting stuff. I'm gonna put the duplicates in here and my my main ones. I, I want them to be on an item frame somewhere. For now, we'll put them in the not chapel wall. This will not be a, a main thing because obviously um <laughs> the, the not chapels will be going there, but I'm sure it will do for now. I've also got plenty more ender pearls in this chest, so I'm just gonna get those handy for now. And if I want to get every single horn, which of course I do, I'm gonna need more screaming goats. Okay, Enderman, what are you, what are you doing here, by the way? Get get out of that boat. This is for goats, not for anybody else. And how will I get more screaming goats? Well, that's quite simple. By getting more wheat. So, yeah, this farm is, is going a little bit slow. I wonder if it's because it's not quite in render distance a lot of the time, because I, I think you're working harder than that farmer. And on the positive side, I have raided a lot of villagers over the months. So we have so many hay bales, meaning I can breed plenty more goats with a 2% chance to get a screaming one, which means I need to breed 50 babies. Looks like I'm going to be pretty busy with these guys. So far I've found two screaming goats, one there and one there. Or should I say I have bred two screaming goats. And I also know that one of these is a scream, I just, <laughs> I don't know which. So I'm just luring away a few of them and leaving some of them on the lead. And it is one of these, I've just heard it make the screaming noise, okay? I think it's this one, or it could be this one, I'm not entirely sure, but I know it's definitely not you, so let's get rid of you. There's a 50-50 chance that I've chosen the right one. Doesn't seem to be a screamer. And this one is the screaming goat. Come with me, good sir. You can go with all the other ones. And I I think I'm going to use you to get the next of the horns. Here he comes. You missed. <laughs> I think he screamed as he got his horn went off. I can understand why you'd scream at that. And we got ourselves the dream horn. How does that sound? Let's have a listen. It's an interesting... <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting sounding one. I don't think I'm going to break your other horn off. Because all they seem to do is just drop the same horn twice anyway. Now it is your turn, goat number two. Here it comes. Did I go a bit early? No, I didn't. Perfect timing. Mean, we got call. I think I already have call. I do, so there's no point getting another call off that either. But dream can be added to this wall and then... No, not, not that dream. And you shall be the final screaming goat that I take his horn. Here it comes. Which one did we get this time? We got yearn, which sounds like this. It's a very, a very yearning sound. I'll add it to the wall. And let's get a couple of horns from a non-screaming goat. Right, it's winding up its charge. You were too slow. Where did that go? Wow, that went so high. Right, my goodness. And we've got ourselves Ponder. Now, do we have Ponder already? I don't think we do. We have we have Sing was the other one we had. So I shall put that there. And just to double check, every goat does drop the same two horns. I'm, I'm going to let it hit me one more time. Or should I say, let it ram this wall again? Yeah, give me Ponder again. So basically, whatever a goat gives you, both its horns give you. By the way, if you're curious, Ponder sounds like this. <laughs> So that's that. And then sing sounds similar, doesn't it? Let's play it. Uh, maybe kind of similar. I'm just going to try and get all the four non-screaming variants. Here we go. You were too slow. And you gave me sit. Oh, we've already had that one. Sorry, we're, we're not interested. Also, instead of me getting a goat from all the way over here and then dragging it to that stone wall, I think it would instead make sense to mine up part of this stone and build a new wall over here. And this time we have got sing again. How many times do I have to tell you? We've already got that one. Now this time we have got feel. Okay, it's a new one. Let's see. That's an that's a interesting one again. <laughs> I don't know who came up with these sounds, but I am now just one horn away from having all of them. Well, all the non-screaming ones. I still need one screaming one as well. Come on, go. Ram me. That's it. Wait, what? I should totally have dropped a horn. Well, that time it did. Already got Ponder. And this time, an Endermite spawned and it hit the Endermite. What the heck? Now then, Seek. That is the final one. Well done, little goat. You got me just what I needed. Let's listen to it. <laughs> It's the classic pillager one. Well, I can pretend to be a pillager now. And so all I need now to finish my collection is another screaming goat. And to do that, I'd better get back to breeding. I hear a, a baby screaming goat, so <laughs> we've got one out of all of that. But working out which one it actually is will be the challenge. And this is the fifth screaming goat that I have ever got. Might as well give him a load of wheat so he grows a bit faster. And I don't know why this keeps happening, but the villager in here has once again disappeared. It's happened on every single floor. I can only guess it might be something to do with these blocks. So I'm going to change them to be something transparent like glass so that the villager cannot suffocate. Since I'm assuming that's the problem that's happening. Meanwhile, baby goat has grown up. Please give me the horn that I haven't yet got. Let's see. Admire. Yes. Okay. We've got every single goat on. Let's see what Admire is. They're a bit weird sounding some of these, but 
Thank you so much, dear goat. I will never need all these millions of goats again. <laughs> we've, we've got every horn that we ever need. All of them are on this wall, which is fine for now. I've got the dream one there as well. Yep, all eight goat horns obtained. That's a pretty cool achievement because doing something like that is not actually that easy. I was trying to work out why this wasn't breeding me more villagers and dropping them in there, but now I... Uh, I see, it's because uh, I'd closed all the trap doors, so I've opened them now. You guys are just gonna have a little encouragement to go on down. See guys, it's nothing personal, I uh, I just need more farmers. And now my tools are looking a little worse for wear, so I shall take them to a place for their repair. And now I think it's time I stop stalling, stop working on other projects, and get serious about my plan to defeat the Warden. Now obviously the Warden can be defeated pretty easily if you just summon it and then build up like over 20 blocks high. Then you could just shoot it with a bow and arrow. But in my opinion, that's... Just, just too far too easy. So instead, I'll be taking it on in proper hand-to-hand -hand combat. The building blocks I'll be using is plenty of wool. I'm also going to need some potions to give me the upper hand. And those are going to be night vision and swiftness. Hopefully all of that's going to be enough. I'm wondering if three swiftness will last the whole battle. Hopefully it will. I'm also down to my last 19 pork chops. That's definitely a worry, but I'm hoping that I have loads here. Look at that. Yeah, we have. So let's fill up this shulker box. You know what? Since I have a little bit of inventory space left, I'm going to make a Another three swiftness. There we go. Let's have one last rest in my bed. And then the search for the deep dark can begin. No pressure, SB, but the last 4,064 days are all riding on me winning this battle. Or at the very least, I've just got to make sure that I don't lose the battle. I know I've come quite far, and, and you know what? I found somewhere where the deep dark might be below me. Literally right by my portal. But I think I've forgotten something very, very important. Strength. I need strength pots. They were 100% worth going back for. Found my way back to that portal I built, and I'm hopeful that the deep dark is below this mountain. I guess I could just dig straight down and, <laughs> and find out for myself. Okay, it, it, it is indeed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> that is, this is a crazy, crazy cave. Oh my goodness, wait. Am I? No, I, I want to summon a warden with just one shrieker. So yeah, it's a very cool cave, but I, I'd rather battle a warden in an ancient city. Plus, I need two more disc fragments to make the music disc. This has to be one of the coolest deep dark caves I've ever come to. And the swift sneak makes exploring it so, so much better. And despite the cave size, there does not seem to be any ancient city down here. So the search for the ancient city can continue. Here we swoop into another deep dark biome, but no joy down there. Outposts always now have a goat horn, by the way. I'm curious to see which one is seek. So yeah, you could actually get all of them by searching outposts, because I suppose not everybody has 70 million goats that they can just breed. Found another mountain with the deep dark below it, and this time an ancient city. I guess this is where things get serious. Chest plate on. I'm gonna try and find those disc fragments. We got another one. I'll drink a night vision. Hopefully that just helps me a little bit. There we go, perfect. This chest has a disc fragment. We'd be sorry, but it doesn't. However, regen may also be very useful. I've accidentally set off another shrieker. I don't know if it was worth it. <laughs> if I set off one more, the warden will spawn. But I'd rather get that final disc fragment before I let that happen. Okay, it looks like the mission has been failed. The warden's, the warden's got to be spawned, hasn't it? Yeah, he's coming up out of the ground. Okay, here we go. I'm going to drink my swiftness. I've drunk the strength and I am ready to go. You might be bigger than me. You might be stronger than me and you might have a lot more health. But you are blind and stupid. And that is how I'm going to defeat you. Okay, so far so well. Doing some good strafes. That's it. Oh my god, look at this. You just can't get him. Okay, hold on. That's, that's the attack we have got to worry about. That does a lot of damage, but... Okay, okay, hold on. Oh, things are getting a little bit messy there. There we go, we're good. Just pop another notch apple. I'm just gonna have a lot of notch apples. Okay, Let's have another one. Okay, yeah, you, you get a bit of thorns in there. You don't like that, do you? Okay. He does not miss that attack. That's the, that's the worrying thing. Maybe if I had got pearls, I could have avoided it, but... Oh my goodness, he's got me low. Oh, okay, I've got to be careful. Let's just keep going. Keep going. Okay, I've got to move now. I've got to move. I've just got to get a little bit further away from him. Get a bit of distance. Oh my goodness, a bit more this time. Okay, let's just do that. There we go. Can't get across to me now. Oh, he can. He can. He can. He can. Okay, it's true. I'm gonna just pop another notch apple. Okay, just straight away using my help. Oh no! Don't get close to him though. Gotta just keep out of his range. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna pop it on me if I'm not careful. There we go. There we go. Oh, well, we've got this. Maybe not. Maybe not. If, if he hits me though, I... we're good. We're good. We're good. We got him. We defeated him. Oh, is that all you got? SB737 versus the Warden, and it was absolutely no contest. There's me getting scared. I've got all these items. Didn't even need him. Just a good bit of strafing, good bit of movement, and he's he's been defeated. Another one? Oh, another one's coming. 
Well, I could go for round two. Ah, 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 come on then, old warden. That's it. Okay, this one could be a little bit more difficult, but... Okay, I'm not doing as well in this one, I'll admit. Maybe I, maybe I couldn't go for round What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, golden apple. That's it, that's it. As long as I get those notch apples on, I can pretty much... Okay, so what are you doing up here? Good, good. No, we're not good. Okay, okay, get the totem out. Do that. There we go. Oh no, another totem's gone. Well, I should not. Uh, you know what? I got a little complacent battling it once was enough. <laughs> Maybe not twice. Okay, just need another notch up. I need to get my health as much as possible. Things are so dark down here now. My night vision has run out as well. Oh, I'm stuck on a thing. Okay, just need to try and keep away from him, but there's obstacles and it's when you can't see. I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a bad spot. Eat that quick. We're good. Got it off. Okay, just eat another notch apple. This is all my notch apples going down the drain, but it's for a good cause. You know what? The foot. Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. We're good. Gonna eat another one. There we go. Okay, I'm. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I I've got no tongues left in my hot bar, which does worry me. I've gotta get some hits on him. Okay, let's just. I I I've gotta just. No, we're too close. We're too close. Gotta keep moving. Keep moving. There we go. Where is he? I don't even see him. Okay. I, I think I've always... Oh, that, that sonic attack is so powerful and so difficult to do anything against. Like, you can't get away from it. Like, it does all so much help. You need a lot of notch apples to defeat the... Oh my goodness, he's getting some hits on me now. Quick SP. Okay, we just... I tell you, the notch apple... Yes, we got him again. That one was much, much harder. I don't want to defeat another one. I... My heart's going too fast. My armor is also very, very broken. I used up like 20 notch apples in that battle. I'd love to see if I can get some notch apples back though. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of searching and see if there's any around. But my goodness, it doesn't get much more stressful than that. Okay, is there anything in here that we want? I don't think so. I'll take the echo shards though. Oh, and the disc fragments. Okay, we've got the disc fragments. Now we fly away from the warden. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my normal food as well. I won't be battling the warden again today. <laughs> this is like a good chest all the way up here. Give me notch apples. Still no. It's always going to be a big challenge to get back all the notch apple reserves. We've got one there. This will probably be the new way that I actually search for notch apples at the start of the episodes as well. Sometimes you can get five of them in a single ancient city. But man, I can't believe I went toe to toe with the warden and lived to see the day. And now that I've seen it face to face, I'm, I'm really not that scared of it. Like, I don't know. It, I know he can hit hard and it does damage and stuff, but yeah, it doesn't really worry me being near it or anything. Because I feel like I can escape with it with very little trouble. I also feel like I have searched everywhere that might have a notch apple and I don't think we, you know, we're going to find much more. Although there's a few chests here and there that I would take, we'll take those. We are at a point where you just look everywhere and there's a warden there. There's a one below me apparently because he just hit me. <laughs> one down there as well, he looks pretty angry. He looks like he knows where he's going actually. And for me, this is, this is probably as good a time as I need to leave because getting my armor repaired is now the priority. Portal's been lit and so I can fly back home. And now that I'm here, everything will become fully repaired. Also guys, if you enjoyed me just defeating that warden, then you should definitely make sure you remember to subscribe. And I did get something new from that visit as well. Loads of disc fragments which can be crafted over here into the music disc. Can we craft two? No, we can only craft one. But here it is. I think it's just called five. It's, called, it's I don't know why it's called five, but that seems to be the name that it has. I can play it, but it, it's just weird. If you listen to it. Like it's just ambience and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's a weird one. Not quite like pig step or other side. And I've just realized I don't actually have any item frames for other side or this new five one, I think it's called. Yeah, that's that's what it's called, five. I'll just nick a couple of item frames from here for now. And they can go like this. So we actually have a nice symmetrical thing. Although I think I think they should be in the middle. Because you know what? It looks really cool like the pig step one. It doesn't look like the other ones. I think the broken disc is another one which should go up here. And I also need to rename them so they stand out better. If you don't rename them, they hover over. That happens. But if you rename them, you can see what they're called. And there we have it. The new and improved music disc wall is complete. If I remove these, I'll have enough space for all of these in there. And this part is a bit of a sad moment. I used to have so, so many of these and now... Well, we've got nowhere near as much, but we'll get them back. Don't you worry. I will get every single one and more of them back. I also don't think there is any point in having them if I'm not going to use them. You know what I mean? Imagine if I died, but I had all those notch apples. You might as well use your notch apples. To, to stay alive in these situations. I'll also put these two item frames back. And I actually do not remember 
where I put those frog lights. Where did I put them? No idea. I've got absolutely no idea. Why did I leave an ender chest here? That's another good question. Well, despite my inability to remember what I do with stuff, I'd like to build a farm for them. I'd like to farm them and have loads and loads of them. And before I actually build this farm, I'm kind of curious to check out the magma cube farm. So it seems like this concept wouldn't really work because the big slimes go down there as well. The golems don't stop them. So I need a farm that will spawn magma cubes, but they become small ones. Since the frogs aren't quite capable of eating the big ones. I was going to use honey, but I, I don't think I need that. Instead, I'm going to grab all of the items that I do need. I've got every single item required. I want to build this farm near the magma cube farm, but not too close so it would interfere. But I reckon right about here should be fine. It's just a little bit in that direction. Now we need to build an 11 by 11 platform. The collection system is always a good place to start. We're going to be using a hopper minecart system to collect everything. It's just the easiest way to do it. That is that. That completed. We're gonna have a back. We, 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 wait, have I got? I've, have I run out? Thought I'd brought enough powered rails. Evidently not. Not really a massive issue. I can just go like that and do that. Next, I'm bordering everything in, and this wall is gonna be three high in total. I'll also add a nice slab platform. And now that's done. I need the frogs. You three are the frogs that are to be selected. I seem to spend most of my life transporting frogs today. That or battling very powerful mobs like the warden. So getting them into the Nether is pretty easy. However, getting them above the bedrock could be a little bit more challenging. I've got to make sure I don't place a block next to the portal block, otherwise it will break and, and I can't get it back now that update suppression's gone, so I'm hoping that I can just bring them up like this. You bet your life I can get them to the top like this. All right, frogs, let's come across here. Oh my goodness, okay. They just all died, I... <laughs> I didn't expect that. Looks like I can add Frog Murderer to my list of titles now. That's no problem though. I can easily just breed plenty more. And this time when I transport three frogs, let's hope that they don't die. I'll send them all through again. Only this time I'm bringing slime blocks. And then this time I can build them a nice little safety platform at the top. And in fact, it's not going to be a little safety platform. It's going to be a massive one. I really don't want them to miss the landing. All right, frogs, we're going on a little adventure now. But be warned, your friends, the other frogs, didn't fare so well when we did this. All right, that should be high enough. Come on, please make it. Where did you- oh no. I've killed more of them! And on take two, I managed to get two of the frogs up to safety. This guy kind of ruined my life with it. You guys wait here, I'll, I'll be back with a third one soon. These tadpoles that I had growing in the woods have now all grown into frogs. So I shall drag these three to their new home. Then I need to grab a tadpole. And I need to take it to a warm biome to grow up. I'm pretty sure this lukewarm ocean should be good. Never mind, it's apparently not warm enough there. But I wonder if I can do it in the nether. I know it'll have its risks, but I, I have no idea what's going to happen if I... Okay, eat the slime balls and grow. Okay, I'm gonna give you so much slime. I don't know how long you can survive without air, so I'm just, I'm just going as fast as I can. If this works, guys, it will be a miracle. We're either gonna have a dead tadpole or a, or a live and well frog. Come on, we've got this. Just keep going. No, it's dying. Quick, you need to grow. It grew. It, it died. It, it grew as it died. What? It was dying. You were nearly dead. I don't know how you're here. That frog literally stared death in the face and just said, yeah, I, I, I don't care. Much more resistant than those other ones that died just because they were bouncing up and down on a lead. All right, frogs up, you come to your new home. In here, you are going to get to eat so, so much food. Don't jump out, though. Honestly, that's the one thing you... Did they both jump out? Seriously, I nearly killed you and you survived and now you just want to jump out and live above the bedrock? I don't think so. And now I know I can't trust you guys. You, you're going on the lead. Didn't want to have to do that, but you left me with no choice. Now, the next thing I'll be doing is cover covering this top in powdered snow. The frogs will be just small enough to go underneath. The only issue is I'm not sure I've got enough. But yeah, that little half a block is small enough for a, a frog's hitbox, but it will mean the smaller magma cubes fall through and the bigger magma cubes get taken out, if that makes sense. As you can see, the frogs are completely safe. Although I'm gonna need way more than that if I want to finish the farm. I have a bit more here, probably not quite enough to finish the farm, but I'll use all of it up so then I can see how much more of it I then need. I had a count up and 36 more was the answer, and I'm pretty sure I know of a place where more can be found. The portal that got me to the ancient city before, because I know that there are some snowy slopes around and I, I, I'm guessing that there's some powdered snow on these somewhere. It doesn't actually generate in these biomes. It's just <laughs> finding them is the hard part since it looks exactly like all of the snow. But hey, mission accomplished, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, it's getting a little cold in here though, so I should uh, probably gather it up. And having said that, it doesn't look exactly like all of the snow because look, that's the texture of that and then, and then that's the texture of normal snow. Is a slight difference. This one's more powdery and snow doesn't form on it so i guess that's the two ways you can you can find it i have definitely got more than enough and so let's get it added to the farm there we go next the walls need to be increased to be even higher i'm gonna put powdered snow there if i can i just can't reach it you know what? i'm just gonna drop down and oh i need to get rid of the fence <laughs> i was like why can i place it i'm sure i'm reaching it but i'm gonna get rid of the fence first yeah we, uh, we got that there but we've got that i'm gonna freeze a little bit it's gonna be a bit chilly put that there 
I'll fly on out of here, no problem. Ooh, well, I'll try and fly. Maybe, maybe this is it. This is how SB dies. He defeats a warden and he dies in snow. Oh my goodness! Not to worry though. We can, we can just do this. It's much easier. <laughs> out we go. There we go. Perfect. Pretty standard little place the Iron Golem's gonna live. There we go. Just in between the four fence gate. Well, I. I'm sorry, buddy. Thank goodness I'm his creator and he doesn't get angry at me. Now to build the Magma Q spawning platform. And I tell you what, building with Swift Sneak is so useful because I, I don't need to speed bridge anymore. Like, I, I can't speed bridge. It's 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 <laughs> it's so fast. Although I did get a little bit carried away there. It's only meant to be 10 blocks long. It's going to be a seven wide platform in total. And now I'm going to add some corners that are made out of glass. I just chose blue stained glass because I have so, so much of it from building the mega base left. And there's also going to be a border of glass all the way along the top. I also need to gas proof this because they can actually spawn in basalt deltas. I'm probably placing more glass than I need to to gas proof it but you know what I have so much of it that I don't mind there we go and just to stop any magma cubes falling off we're gonna have andesite walls I think these would have been better as polished andesite but uh, well it's too late now get the minecart hopper down that is now going all the way around and place down loads and loads of scaffolding for the afk platform 104 to be precise i'll be making it out of glass once again and magma cube should be spawning below I i'm gonna go and have a little look well there isn't any but i think my mob switch is on so i'll just reload my game and now when i fly back down we should have look that there's a magma cube so he goes in all right let's see what happens he's, he's down there so i guess the magma cube over time will freeze because he's a bit big for the frogs to eat right now there you go, he gets hurt. Now there's the small ones. The frogs are going in. It's really hard to see exactly what's going on, but the fro the frogs are going in and eating them. I can watch it all unfold from down here, actually. That's frozen. It's died. Now then, now the frogs are going to go in and eat them. It seems to vary. Sometimes the frogs don't get to them and the, the baby magma cubes die, which I, I guess is because they bounce in the snow. But we have already got a couple of frog lights, so I can only assume it's working. So I'll AFK here for a bit and see what we get. Loads of time has passed. And whilst we do have a lot of magma cream... We also have a lot of frog lights. So it's a good two-fold farm, really. I mean, I might as well grab all of these. Can't even carry them all, so I better put them into a shulker box. And then I can take all of these back home. It's also worth me picking up the slime, since we won't be transporting frogs up here anytime soon again. And I do have a use for these frog lights shortly, but for now, I will store them in this 1.19 chest. Now, having the goat horns on here is... It, it's okay, but that's the notch apple display... They need their own place. So I'm not sure how this will look, but I'm thinking of creating some sort of window here. Well, actually, maybe not here because I have a load of hoppers going through that section. But instead here, down towards the treasure room. How exactly this is going to work, I'm not entirely sure. But I do know that glass reserves are starting to get a little bit low. So it'll be a good idea to smelt more sand. So if this doesn't look good, then the idea will definitely be scrapped. I'm thinking glass across like this. In fact, no, let's just change that granite up there. So we've got something like that, and then there'll be a display behind it. A display that will be made out of frog lights this could be me forcing something in that doesn't really belong here yeah this is um this is a bad idea and so plan b is to instead store them either side of this staircase i still put the frog lights behind but it just looks a little less out of place i'm also going to rename each and every of the horns on an anvil so that i know what all of them are called there we go all eight goat horns in their displays and since there are going to be notch apples in here i think it makes sense to actually put like the yellowy orange frog lights in They're actually called ochre frog lights but i'm never going to remember that but i think it does bring it to life a little bit and speaking of notch apples it's, it still upsets me to see the display so empty so i'm first going to repair my elytra by trading with villagers for redstone look at that works brilliantly and now i'm going to put one hour on the clock and then i'll see just how many notch apples i can get in that time frame i'm hopeful that i can find at least one ancient city in that time frame Okay, and we drop straight into an ancient city. Finding one in under an hour is pretty impressive. Might as well grab diamonds when I see them too. There's a lot get exposed when an ancient city generates. On average, you get a notch apple every 12 chests. I'm also now going to summon a warden, which I'm not too worried about, but, um, you know, <laughs> just to be aware of him. Just systematically exploring the whole place. I must have searched enough chests by now. Not having much joy. You know, if this is going to be my new way to find notch apples, it's going to be very stressful. I think I've got every chest in this one. Maybe not that one, but okay. nothing in it again. I, I think, yeah, I mean, all of... 99% of them I've got anyway. I'm going to be a little bit careful because more and more wardens are getting summoned in and I don't really know where to go. I'm, it's so dark. Look at that. Oh, got hit by one. That's, uh, that's a sticky... He's there. i got a fly. This is a bit of a... There's so many wardens that... <laughs> I'm in a little bit of trouble. I shouldn't have maybe let this many spawn in. 
I think I'm okay. I think I'm away from all the ones in the vicinity. There's one over there. I've just got to be careful about him. I'll grab another totem and go in search of another ancient city. Whilst exploring the land, randomly found a woodland mansion. You never know. There's a tiny chance of there being a not chapel here. Could be wrong, but <laughs> think I've been here before. Yeah, it's the place where I got all of the LAs earlier. Another mountainous region, which leads to the deep dark and an ancient city. Let's see how fast we can clear this one out. Oh, we got two not chapels. Okay, finally, we've had some, some, some success. And I feel like I should gather up some wool so that I don't spawn a warden every single time I open a chest. Although that doesn't really seem to be working out for me at this point. I'm <laughs> just going a bit crazy now. Trying to be a little bit more strategic in my wool use. Oh my goodness, there's one right there. I'm thinking I just um, <laughs> mine up chests now. Then I don't accidentally go to the same one twice. I want that chest. But there's a there's a board in there. <laughs> Can I? Am I being riskier? Probably. Alright, we, uh, we didn't get a notch up out of that, but it was worth it. I actually think this is two ancient cities connected together. Yeah, this is a different ancient city. Well, this is a turn up. Gives me the chance of even more notch apples. Wait, it's another end city again. Wait, it's a third one in a row. When I said end city, I mean ancient city. There we go, we found a third one. That's great news. And look at that, there's two in there. That's perfect. We've got five. Anything more in here? We haven't, but now a warden's coming to ruin my day. Might as well just carry on searching these ancient cities right up until the hour marks complete. Since there's definitely not enough time to find a brand new ancient city. And the hour is now up. I've, I've kind of lost the ancient city. I'll just go exploring the side caves. I'm very happy with getting five notch apples. And this does seem like a very cool place to build a warden farm, which is what I think we should do next. First things first, I need to move this portal so that it's on the roof. There we go. I'm above the bedrock. Pretty close to that portal I built for the LAs. But mine's going to be built a little bit away over here. Just check that they link up. And indeed they do. And there's apparently a shrieker below me, which Maybe that's the one I should use. I think that's my best one. So I'm going to get a hoe ready. And I'm going to fly away from that warden because he's... He needs to calm down a bit. Oh, he's an idiot. He's followed me. That's just what I wanted. Because now I can mine the stuff around this and put wool around it so I can kind of do stuff without the shrieker being a problem. Let's just do that bottom one. Oh, okay. Don't die to a... That was tight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, SP737, you've got to be more careful. Stuck in a hole with a warden on top of me. I think I'll wait a couple of minutes for those wardens to despawn. That should have been long enough. Spoke sense in the area can be removed. As you can see, I can run around this catalyst that's in there and it will now not detect me. So that's how I build the farm around it without really having too much trouble. It's a very weird experience making a farm down here, knowing that if you do something wrong, you know, you can't really relax. You, you've got to focus as you're mining that you don't accidentally creep towards one of them. But if I go too far in any one direction, I end up <laughs> in a bit of trouble. All this lava definitely needs to be covered up. Now I think I'm ready to go and gather up all the resources. I'm also very happy to add five more of these notch apples, you know, five more and we've refilled that wall. We can definitely do that in the next episode. This farm is going to require quite a lot of redstone components. I think this is all the items that I require, at least I, uh, <laughs> I hope it is. But it's a long journey back if I forget anything. I've made it back and I accidentally summoned a warden like through that wall when I was mining some stone, which is just goes to show how annoying it is sometimes. So I'll have to fly over here and wait a minute for him to despawn. Looks like he's now finally gone. Although I accidentally activated a shrieker over there, so now we've got another warden. Good, for goodness sake. Well, I'm still going to do some work over here and hope that he, he doesn't find me. There we go, he's, he's, he's climbed back into the ground. So right here we've got a system that will detect when the shrieker updates. It'll have observers on top and then dispensers on top of them. And these red blocks are what the warden is going to spawn on. It'll be able to spawn the dispensers or the red blocks. But anywhere else that it might want to try and spawn will be completely out of range. To be honest with you, warden farms aren't super complicated. There is a limit to how fast you can make them. They, you could make it slightly faster with portals, but I don't want to get mixed up with that one. More disasters can happen. And mobs being able to spawn in portals... Wow, that was fast. <laughs> Soul speed and swift sneak. But yeah, mobs being able to spawn in portals is going to get patched out soon anyway. So this version is a little bit more future-proof. These gates are going to hold the water and there shall be glass on top of them. And now I've got to build this up really high with glass. I'm, I, I, I might need to do a bit of mining. That's going to be in the way, but the roof is generally pretty high. From the Shrieker to the very top, the farm is about 30 blocks tall in total. So it's not going to be too massive. This is the height it needs to be and I, I knew I'd forget something. Forgot the bone meal. Not to worry though, I can still build it with the 63 piece of kelp I have. It's just going to take a little bit longer. This along here is going to stop the wardens from popping out of the top. Instead, they'll be falling down there where an entity crammer will soon be set up. In fact, I'm going to do that now because later on it's going to be harder to get to. I kind of forget how many minecarts you need for an entity crammer, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's something along the lines of 24. See, if you imagine there's water here, I couldn't be breaking all of that, but we've got 14 here for now. And I've got another 14 here, which will make 28. That's some quick maths, and that will be enough to entity cram the wardens. Let's next place water at these top bits. And instead of being able to bone mill all the kelp, I'm just going to have to manually 
place it in each bit. Then when I break it, I'll have a water chute and I can grab it at the top and do the same thing on these two. And that is all of the water sorted. Always a little bit scary when you're about to test a farm that's <laughs> so dangerous. But I have, uh, I'm just going to run my hoppers all the way down so I can actually get to the items. I'm setting up something like this. And it makes sense to move that portal over there so that it is instead over here. And I can add some of these skull veins onto the portal like that. Oh, look at that. It just makes it look like it's, it's, it's part of the scenery. And I have a singular chest on the edge here so I can just easily get to it. But it's going to be well out of the way of the farm's range. Just going to carefully, and this is very carefully, place that there. There we go. <laughs> so this is the farm, but I want to build a bit of a... Bit of a staircase bridge connector thing. I like what I'm seeing here, but I have got to make sure that I spawn proof the area as well with carpets. Otherwise, wardens will be able to still spawn here. So, you know, we, we, we've got to be careful. Not only do I need to spawn proof this pathway that I made, but of course, all of this needs to be spawn proofed as well. In reality, this area is probably already spawn proof, but I'm, I'm just going to go above and beyond because I... Just to be safe, I mean, even though I know I've done it all fine, I really don't want to make a single mistake. So I think it's it's just about ready. All I need to do is add in buckets to every single dispenser and then cover all of this in water. Whilst there's water there, the wardens can't spawn, but for a split second, the dispensers will pick up the water, the warden will spawn, then they'll put the water back, send the warden up there to the minecarts where they will then die and then the hoppers will push it all while well, there's short catalyst into that chest. It's a foolproof plan. I only have to do one last thing and that is place an observer going into this. Now I'm pretty sure it may... Oh my, hold on a second. Hold on. I think everything's... Is everything okay? Wait, I haven't got enough uh, thingamajiggers. Let's pull this wall back because there also needs to be an observer there and one right here. Now when I break this block, as you can see, all the water has disappeared. And when I place an observer, it's probably going to activate that maybe okay no it didn't it didn't set off the short scraker thing i'm curious to know where this water came from i'm not sure it was there before hopefully i don't set that off i haven't this is just me being ocd it's just a bit of a mess come from absolutely miles away all the way up here let's patch you up with a bit of deep slate and now the moment of truth okay i break this i don't want to do it really <laughs> i stand on the shrieker come on sp let's get it over with there we go i'm stood on here okay warden i built this wrong i built it all wrong I think I built it all wrong. Have I built it all wrong? I built it all wrong. I've completely built it wrong. Are we okay? I've, oh, I've done everything wrong. I had one job. One simple job. Although, you know what? I, I think it should still work okay. I've, I've kind of just had a little bit of a look of it. I think it is something that will work either way around. If a warden spawns and he's going to attack me, I'll be okay. I'll, I'll be able to survive, alright? I'm just going to raise my warden level by another one. And in theory, he should crawl out of the ground. There it is. He's crawling up. Is he going up? Is he going up? He's gone up. You can't really see it because of the darkness effect. But once at the top, yeah, he flows along. Slow and steady. And then he should go into that. I, I think I've actually built that slightly wrong as well. Yeah, I built it completely wrong. I'm going to have to wait for him to disappear. I'm hoping that should have been long enough. Okay, well, it wasn't. But he's fallen into my trap anyway. And after 70 million years, he, he will eventually lose all his health. There we go. That's the easy way to defeat a warden. And now I'm just going to block up these particular blocks. And then break them again. Because they shouldn't be source blocks. That was kind of just causing me a few issues. Then there needs to be blocks underneath these. So it'll come all the way around. Then I break those and put water underneath. All right, that is mission accomplished. Let's do take two on this. And hopefully everything works okay. We will see the warden climb through the ground again. There he is climbing through the ground over there. I think I built it perfectly correct. I don't know why I was so worried that I'd done it wrong. And he's in there. He went straight in this time, so it works much better. And we can keep summoning these every 10 seconds. That means we get six wardens a minute and 360 in an hour. See, just look at them. They're flying through. Loads of them climbing through the ground. I like that one climbs quite close to me, but you know what? Nothing to be scared of because as they climb through the ground, they get sent up. I've done it. I have successfully farmed the warden and as you can see there's just quite a lot of them getting entity crammed up there they're getting taken out perfectly basically every 10 seconds one gets taken out because that's often they spawned I, I should probably have not maybe made that chest so high but look at that sculpt catalysts are going in in fact i am going to move this back so that i can reach the chest a bit easier somewhere like that will be better just needs hoppers going into the back of it although um <laughs> Placing the hoppers is now a bit of a challenge. A challenge which I have managed to do. And I am still not entirely sure what I'm going to do with all these Skulk Catalysts. But it's more that I just want to farm the Warden. So we're going to run it for a little bit and get loads of them. Maybe, I reckon if I get two, 300 of them, that, that'll do me for now. And you'd think it'd be a little bit risky to go AFK with Wardens climbing out the ground around you. But, uh, well, I'm not scared of that. And I think that is enough time that the Warden farm has been running. I'll let all of those Wardens slowly fall to the entity cramming. And as you can see, lots and lots of Skull Catalysts, which will be very useful 
for a new farm. But that's a new farm which will be built in the next episode. Something I'd like to do at some point is build a massive blue ice track for the boat that would take me all the way to the Warden farm. Such a thing would require over 2,000 blue ice, which would be about 150,000 worth of normal ice. I'm quickly repairing a few items, and I'd like to finally fully finish this ice farm. It's a project that's been hanging over me for nearly 2,000 days, so I'm gonna spend a bit of time gathering up all the materials, and then I can get on with building this thing. And I have now completely run out of time. The sun has set. And I didn't quite finish the farm because I need to add all the glass. And there needs to be signs like this on these two rows as well. Plus the water. Yeah, this farm takes a bit longer to build than I, uh, than I last remembered. But I am glad that it is now very, very close to completion. I'll probably just finish the last little bits in the next episode. But thanks so much for watching this video. It's been quite a roller coaster of a video. And the sun has now set on this world. So that was 4,100 days in hardcore Minecraft.